All right, so today we're going to be talking about the most important approach and strategy you can have when it comes to getting back together with your ex. This is vitally important, so please stay tuned through to the end. We're going to be getting into this in huge detail. Hey there, it's Clay with modernlove.life. We're talking about the most important thing that you can be doing if you wanted to save your relationship with um, your ex today. And you know, you might be expecting me to say something like, yeah, you know, you should do no contact or you should never text them first or you should um, ask them lots of open-ended questions or something like that. But that's not what I'm gonna say because what you do isn't as important as who you're being when you're doing it. That is to say, it's all about your energy. I've worked with a lot of people over the years and people can have one of two types of energy. They can be proactive or reactive. You know, reactive people are looking for what is my ex doing and how can I react to that? What did they say in the last text message? How can I react to that? How can I respond to that? message. What did they do on that meetup that we had and how do I react to that? Are they dating someone else? If so, how do I react to that? What do I do if I run into them in public? How do I react to them when I'm turning the corner at the grocery store and I see them? What do I do and how do I react when I see that they're following an attractive person on Facebook or Instagram or they're leaving lots of comments on an attractive person's um, you know, post or something like that? These are all forms of reaction. You know, basically, your ex is, you know, pulling the strings like, like some, you know, marionette puppet master or something, and you're just dancing down below um, as, they, as they orchestrate your next move. You're basically just in constant reaction to what they're saying and doing. And that is, honestly, fundamentally disempowering for you. It's probably not feeling great for you. It's also not going to help you a lot either because there's going to be this subtle reactive energy behind um, the whole interactions that you have with them because they're going to know in some level that, hey, everything that I do, you're just going to react to. Therefore, I'm the one steering the boat. Therefore, I'm the one who um, is in control here. It's not that they want to be in control, most likely, unless they're some sort of control freak or something. But, you know, most people don't want to be in some sort of relationship where the power is like very disequally balanced. I mean, you know, unless you're like deeply insecure or a narcissist or something like that, um, in which case run, um, you you, you don't want to be in that. You want to be in a relationship where you're more or less equals with your partner. Of course, we all have our own strengths and stuff like that. Um, You know, there's certain things that I'm better at than my wife is, and there's certain things that she's better at than I am. And, you know, we, 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 we balance that out. But we see each other as equals, where we take each other seriously and we, we value each other's opinions and experiences. Um, but if, you're, if your partner knows, consciously or unconsciously, that whatever they do, you're just going to react to it, that, that creates a massive um, imbalance in the social dynamics between you and them. Um, As we go on, if you like this video, please make sure you hit the thumbs up button for the YouTube algorithm. Please make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon while you're down there subscribing. Or just hit the bell icon if you are subscribed but you haven't hit the bell icon yet uh, so that you can get notified when we publish and upload new videos. Um, Anyway, additionally, the opposite side of this coin is being proactive. Now, What do I mean by that? Well, being proactive means that they can do whatever they're going to do, and you're going to be responding in a way that's deeper than just like, hey, they texted me something, what do I say next? Um, or hey, they, they, they got mad at me, what do I do next? You're going to be responding from a place of actually having your values as your guiding principle. So they can do whatever they're going to do, and you're going to be able to uh, respond accordingly by, by doing whatever it is you need to do, or you can actually just move forward with your own life and do the things that are important to you to advance your life towards your own personal goals. And, you know, you can have a friendly interaction with them. You can connect with them. You can see if they're open to engaging with you in a, in a friendly, civil sort of way. 
but your entire well-being isn't isn't wrapped up in it. They're not pulling your strings, so to speak. They are just able to interact with you, and you're able to see them as an equal. You're able to interact with them as an equal, um, and you're able to create a genuine connection with them rather than a validation seeking connection which which often ends up happening in a in a reactive kind of dynamic and this is important because number one you're 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 going to feel a lot better too um you're going to feel a lot uh better when it comes to interacting with them knowing that like hey we're 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 equals here hey i'm not just you know waiting for you to do the next thing so that then i can react to that but it's more like okay hey i'm going to live my life and I'm gonna, you know, try to connect with you, and if you're down to connecting, awesome, we'll connect. Um, if not, you know, hey, we, we can we can touch base later when when you're in a better mood, or or when things are different, or whenever whatever happens, whenever whatever situations and circumstances align, uh, for for things to be a little bit better. And um, that's a really key difference that 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 that's gonna help you to to change the whole dynamic between you and them. It's going to make you come across as more grounded, probably more detached from outcome, but definitely a lot more easygoing, um, and also having a lot more space, spaciousness, for how the two of you can connect. Because spaciousness and easygoingness and um, the ability to take things or leave things, all of these things we've just talked about, these are, these are really high-impact ways of being. And so I want you to really work on embodying this in a deep way rather than just saying like, okay, he says, you know, I need to be easygoing. How can I pretend that I'm easygoing? Well, let me just, you know, learn the top five signs that you're easygoing and then I'll just like fake those as as much as I can, right? Like I'll say, yeah, you know, whatever you want to do is okay and I'll just memorize that and that'll be my default response to everything. No, don't like, don't do that. Don't, don't, don't don't do that because that's just more reacting that's just more reacting as positioned as pretending to be proactive so i want you to be energetically proactive about this where do you want your life to go where do you want your relationship to go where do you want your connection to go and are you willing to move past being reactive Go ahead and drop a comment down below in the comment section, letting me know what your choice is. And once again, if you like this video and you want to take on a more proactive stance in all of this, please make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit that, hit that thumbs up button and the bell icon and all the buttons down below. Anyway, take care and I'll talk to you next time.